Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan Swanson. I hope you're having a fabulous Thursday. We're heading on into the weekend. It's already the beginning of March, so hallelujah to that and welcome spring. The birds are singing and that's a beautiful thing, right? I hope your cup is filled with something delicious and strong. Mine, as always, is and it's really beginning to kick in. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my channel. It's here on my YouTube channel where I talk about the housing market in and around Sarasota County, particularly Venice, Nokomis, Sarasota, Northport, and Inglewood. And if you're looking for a single family home, a villa, a condo, or a manufactured or mobile home, either on land or in a land lease community, you've found the right gal and the right channel. So today I'm gonna to just talk a little bit about the market, the market of homes and wow, it is really getting slender. I've mentioned this in previous videos and I want to reiterate as strongly as I can that if you are selling a home, get your appraisal completed before you list it. My broker and I were having a conversation a couple of days ago. He had one appraisal come in and it was $130,000 below the purchase price on the sales agreement. That was a heated conversation between him and the seller, obviously, and they just paid, um, they paid less than three or mid threes for the home, I think when they purchased it, don't quote me on this, and now they listed it for several hundred dollars, several hundred thousand dollars more, and it appraised for $130,000 less than the agreed purchase price. So now, renegotiation is going to set in, you've got some unsettled sellers, and that is never a good thing. So don't find yourself in this situation. I highly advise you as a seller of a home to get the appraisal done before you decide to list it so you know exactly where your listing price should be set, never too low and certainly never too high. Even as strong as the market is right now, it upsets the market in the future. And you certainly do not, as a buyer, you do not want to overpay for a property. Even if you're a cash buyer, uh, I suggest you get your appraisal done on the home that you're purchasing before you, uh, before you get to closing because you do not want to find yourself overpaying for the home. Just a word to the wise. Okay, so just getting that out of the way. And if you're looking for a home to purchase, and I'm just going to go through, and I'm going to hop on Zillow today because I find a realtor this afternoon. It's got some funky thing going on so I'm just gonna stick with Zillow. Zillow isn't always as accurate but they are getting better. I do see that there's some more accuracies and a little more detail in some of these listings. So right now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna be in Venice. I'm gonna start out in Venice and right now I'm in the price points between 125 and 250,000 and there are currently seven single family homes available. Uh, this is just crazy crazy uh, one is right over on Park Road. It's in the 34293 zip code. This one's under 200,000. It's a two bedroom, one bath. So you investment seekers, you may wanna check this house out. Uh, there's another one in the same zip code, 34293 for less than 230. Then we have another one in the same zip code. This is a 22. This one's listed for just under 226. Uh, here's another one over in the Venice Gardens area. If you're familiar with Venice Gardens, they have their own community center. So if you find yourself without a pool, uh, there is a very nice pool at the Venice Gardens Community Center over off of Shamrock. So don't worry if you're buying a home without a pool because you have a community pool right in the area of Venice Gardens in the 34293 zip code. And then here's another one. Now I don't know why this home is still on the market. Makes me wonder if there's an issue with it. This one is over in Lemon Bay. It just had a recent price reduction of 30 thousand dollars it's now priced at two hundred thousand it's a two two and it's in the lemon bay area of venice in the three four two nine three zip code you investment seekers this is a perfect rental investment opportunity for you or if you're a first time home buyer you're a little handy this lemon bay home may be what you're seeking so let me know if you have interest in this and my email address is susan swanson marketing at gmail.com uh, this is a good buy right here for right around 200,000. So don't let this one pass you by. So we have seven. Now I'm gonna toggle over. I just wanna compare. I'm gonna head down south into the Northport area 
and I'm in the same price point, 125,000 up to 250, and there are 44 current active listings. Now here you've got one real cute home, it's a 2-2, and the 34287, some would consider the zip code South Venice. This one's less than 180. Then here's another one that's a 3-2, and the 34287, and this one's 185. And I did see there was another one the other day, and it might be sold. It was only, it was less than 155,000, and I don't see it now. I don't see it now. So that one may have sold, but there are, you know, more than triple the amount of homes in Northport and the price point, price point between 125 and 250. Now we're going to bump it up, and I'm going to go back to Venice, and I'm going to bump that price up. So I want to see how many are available from 250 to 350 and let's see what we come up with. And this is single family homes. Now if you move into the condo and villa selection, then you're gonna find more homes are readily available. Now there are 43 single family homes in Venice between 250 and 350,000. But keep in mind, if you check on Zillow, you're gonna see for yourself, a lot of these are new construction. So if you're looking for new construction, you choose not to have a pre-owned home, good news for you because you're going to have a lot of selection and, you know, a, a, a choice of a couple of um, builders also. So keep that in the back of your mind that if you're moving to Sarasota County and you'd like a new build, good news because you're going to have a lot of selection between 250 and 350000 Now let me bump back over to Northport. And let's go into that same price point and see what they have down south of there. Now we have 78 listings and again, a lot of new construction. Here is a four bedroom, two bath in the 34286, priced under 290. Here's another four bedroom, three bath for 275 and the 34288 zip codes getting a little further south. A lot of new construction in that price point. So again, you have triple or yeah, at least double the triple of the homes readily available in Northport than you will find in Venice. Now, before I forget, I wanted to mention that a seller of mine has contacted me and we thought the home was um, no longer available, but come to find out it is. And if you're looking for a home and you want to spend below $40,000 and you want a mobile or a manufactured home, this is what would constitute as a manufactured home, this is a 1991 Skyline model and it's directly on the Mayaka River. Now, if you'd like to see this home, email me at susanswansonmarketing at gmail.com. I do have a video available. So if you'd like to view this home and get more details on it, I'm more than happy to help you with it. This home, this particular Skyline model is very nice. It's immaculately kept inside and out. It has one true bedroom and then the lanai on the front runs parallel and doubles the square foot of the home. There is another sleeping area there with a quarter bath. There's a brand new full bath in the home. It's fully furnished from sheets of silverware and the seller is now asking less than $40,000 for it. There is lot rent associated in this Mayaka RV Resort Park and the park is located in South Venice in the 34287 zip code. It's directly on the Mayaka River and this home is neat as a pin and it's super cute, fully furnished and it's ready for you. It's ready to be occupied. So if you have interest and you have more information you'd like more information coffee's kicking in if you'd like more information let me know Susan Swanson marketing at gmail and I'm more than happy to forward the video to you it's a really nice home and the lot rent in the Mayaka RV resort is around 850 to 890 and I think that includes your cable they have their own cable provider there it's not Comcast like you'll find in other communities up in Venice and Nokomis so let me know if you have interest it's a really cute home I've been in it many times. I have a great video of this home. It's fully furnished, has a really nice open floor plan. It has a full washer and dryer set. It has a private deck. It's just really, really lovely. And it's in a nice little quiet cul-de-sac of the Mayaka RV Park. So if you're familiar with the Mayaka, you pull in and you would go past the clubhouse, which you'll see on the right. And then the thick of the community is off to the north. You go around the bend and over on the water that way, but you're coming all the way back around or you pull in and you don't go right. You just come in and pull to the left. And this home is right on a quiet cul-de-sac right there. And it's just a lovely home. It's neat as a pen. New AC, central AC with HEPA filters. It's been cleaned for COVID. So no worries that are there at all. 
Now this little community of the Mayaka RV park has around 70, 75 homes and 35 of which are permanent like this 91 skyline. There are also RV pads in this community. So the big RVs come in and they park for the season or one month or two months, however many months they need. And that is also readily available in this community. It is all ages and they are pet friendly as well. And the community does have a very nice clubhouse and they have their own laundry facilities in there also. And they do have a heated pool. Now this is down on South Tamiami Trail 10400 South Tamiami Trail. So you're very close to the thick of things in Northport. You'd be very close to the Atlanta Braves Training Center over there in the New Welland Park area. That community is growing leaps and bounds. You're not far from Inglewood Beach and you're certainly not far from Charlotte Harbor or beautiful Boca Grande. Uh, so if the beaches are what you're looking for but you don't want to be right on the water, you'd want to be a little further inland, perhaps this 91, 91 Skyline model is for you. So let me know and I'm happy to help you and forward you with the information. The seller is motivated with a capital M, just know that, and she needs to part ways with a home. Uh, she's not in the area, so let me know how I can help you. It's a super sweet model. It's neat as a pin with a lot of upgrades. So, you know, and now she's really eager to sell, so let us know if you have interest. So just a little side note there. Okay, now just before I click off, because I do have a meeting I need to attend, I'm gonna just go into Sarasota real quick. And I just want to find out how many homes are priced between 250 and 350 there. There are 78, 78 homes in Sarasota in that price point. Now let's just see if I bump it up. 350 to 500,000, how many do we have there? In Sarasota with single family homes, 150. So you raise your price, you have a high variety of homes. Now just for giggles, I'm gonna go back down to Venice and I'm gonna go from 100,000 to 200,000 and I just want to see what we have available for condos and I'm going to go back over to Venice and I'm going to go into home type and I'm going to hit condos and townhomes between the price points no nope, this darn site I don't know what is wrong with it today it keeps going back and forth to the rents and I don't want rent I want condos and villas from 100 to 200,000 Okay, right now in Venice, between the prices of 100 and 200,000, there are 22. See, I'm asking, no, this site, you've got to really click off the manufactured home because they include it and it shouldn't. Okay, there are 12 condos slash villas available in Venice between the prices of 100 and 200,000. Let's just see if there's any below 100. Let's just see. It's always a fun to bargain shop, isn't it? No, there aren't any available under 100 grand. So let's bump it up to 125 and we'll go to 300,000 and see how many condos and villas we have in Venice. 30. Not as many as one would think because the market, like I've mentioned before, is just on fire in Sarasota County and we don't see it stopping. That's why there's so much new construction available. And whether you want to be in Sarasota, Venice, you want to shoot over to Inglewood or down to Northport, there's a whole lot of new construction and there are many lots for sale. Now, if you want a low cost lot, you may want to head down to Northport. Uh, seems to be a lot of more availability for lots there than there are in Venice and certainly Sarasota. Nokomis is really slender and Nokomis has a very slim pickings for single family homes as well. Um, before I click, let's just check that out before I click off here. Let's just go into Nokomis before I forget. See what we have here. For condos, between 125 and 300,000, it's saying there isn't any, which I find that hard to believe, but let's click that off and let's go to houses. And there are five homes in Nokomis priced between 125 and 300,000. So basically there's 235, 2349. Here's one. No, that's a that's a villa. For 152.5 so if you're looking for a duplex I think that's what this is 152.5 in Nokomis that's a steal uh, in the Curry Cove neighborhood and that's a villa it's a little villa not bad could use a little updating but it's not bad for 152,500 if you want to be in Nokomis so there's a good buy for someone right there 
I'm happy to help you no matter what you're looking for. It can be a single family home, a manufactured or a mobile home, a villa or a condo. I'm happy to help you. And if new construction is what you're looking for, there's all kinds of those too. So let us know. We're happy to help you. I hope you are having a great day. Remember, get your appraisal before you list the home. And if you're selling a home on your own, never show the home alone. Safety in numbers, safety first always. Please have a healthy, fit family member or a friend with you at all times. Never show that home alone. And just a little tidbit of information that if you have an evening open house and if you have a pool home or you have a nice courtyard or patio, have an evening open house, a late early evening open house and bake some cookies and just turn on all of the lights and showcase that home in a whole new vibe. Buyers will love that. So stay tuned for more content. I hope you're having a great day. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. And you're welcome to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I hope you're having a great day. Let us know how we can help you. And if you're coming to Sarasota County, welcome. And uh, enjoy the weather. Get to the beach. Head down to the Sandbar Tiki Grill down in Inglewood. Live music every day, all day. So, And then right from there, right past there, is the White Elephant. Check it out. Uh, we love that place. And Inglewood Beach is fabulous. Of course, you have a wide variety of beaches there. And, of course, Siesta Key. And the rating went down on Siesta Key. It's now down to, like, number 17 in the U.S. for beaches. But that could be because the parking, even though they enlarged it there, still kind of a pickle if you don't get there bright and early. So maybe that's why. But nonetheless, we don't care what they say. We love Siesta Key, too. It's a gorgeous beach. So wherever you are today, I hope you're enjoying your day. And have a great one. And enjoy the weekend. And enjoy the whole month of March. So I hope to hear from you guys soon and take care.